What's up everyone? My name is Dre Man and can I get a year? Uh so I have been bullshit for like the last two weeks about actually sitting down to record this video. And I've been making like a lot of excuses for the reason why I have not actually done it. Um those reasons because I've been busy on shoots. I have been busy with my family, uh, busy with my nine to five, just pretty fucking busy, right? Um, how do I say this? How do I start? So, well, let's start it off with a story. I have a friend, he's an amazing guy, amazing creative. He goes by the name of Dickie. You most likely have heard me talk about him a lot on his channel. Um, he's part of the reason I started doing the whole YouTube thing. Um, Diggy had me do some voiceover work for this really cool video and the video got blocked. And he pretty much was really distraught about it being blocked, really upset about it. Um, and he was just like, man, Diggy. this I'm not doing it. And it got me thinking about how being a creative sometimes is pretty uh, Diggy. dumb. Like, for a lack of better words, right? Sometimes we are on a shoot, we're on location and we're doing an amazing job with this shoot. We think everything is going well, then something goes wrong and we're just like, man, I don't feel like doing this Giggity. anymore. Hold on, cross the street. It got me thinking, when you're a creative, you have, not only do you have to be the director, the writer, the editor, the producer, the publisher. Um, you also have to be the problem solver. And I think some of the greatest problem solvers are children. And I say this as a parent, I say this as a former child and now a grown ass man, that children are some of the dopest problem solvers. My three year old son loves to play with my Xbox One like with a passion and one day he went to turn it on and somehow the fucking xbox was like overheated i've never seen anything like this happen before it was just overheated it wouldn't come on and he refused to give up on trying to get this xbox to come on now keep in mind he is two did i say three he's only two years old he's two years old he's two years old and he refused to just be told oh it's not gonna work i'm sorry that wasn't an answer for him. So after many different processes of trying to get this Xbox to turn on, he realized by removing the sneaker box from the top of the Xbox, it allowed the Xbox to vent and get air and cool down. Within a matter of minutes, he had the Xbox on and ready to play it again. I remember during the making of my short film, Fidget Files, there was like so much going on. Um, I had just moved into this apartment complex and I was like, oh man, there's not too many people living here. This is dope. I'm gonna utilize this as a, as a fucking, uh, location. I'm gonna use the whole building. It's gonna be phenomenal. Um, little did I know that just because people didn't live in the building didn't mean people didn't work for the building. I was instantly shut down, told that I could not shoot in the building without the proper permission. A letter was then sent to my apartment. We got some crazy ass memo. It was just a lot, right? And all I could think was, I don't wanna do this. Fortunately, I was working with some amazing people who said, listen, we're gonna make this happen. You have a vision, you have a dream, bro. We're not gonna give up on you. You're not gonna give up on this. Let's go out there and make this happen. And that's exactly what we did. Now, don't get me wrong. Still wasn't happy with the result of the film. But it was the fact that we put our all into it. We switch hands on. We refused to just accept the bare minimum and what was given to us. And we took what we needed and made our dreams come true and made this vision come true. And that's what was important. I come from a place where not many of my friends opted to do the things that I do. The craziest thing about it all is that many, many of my friends opted to like live like regular lives. I'm like one of the few, and when I say friends, I mean like people I grew up with. I'm probably the one of like 
maybe five friends. One out of five friends who decided like, hey, I'm gonna be a creative. Nobody's gonna stop me from doing this. I don't care. Uh, I'm just gonna give it all, give it my all. As far as vlogging, like, I've been walking down this street and people are staring at me for no apparent reason because I'm talking into a camera and I get it. It's not normal, at least it's not their normal. But this is my normal. And at the end of the day, nothing's gonna get in my way, right? Look, I hope this is good. Look, the point I'm trying to make to you is that, the point I'm trying to make to you is that you can do it. Anything that you want to achieve, you can get out there and do it. Sometimes you're gonna hit these roadblocks and feel like, man, forget this. I'm not doing this no more. I don't wanna do music no more. I don't wanna be a doctor no more. I don't wanna be a filmmaker no more. Get this I'm out I get it I felt that way many of times but one thing that I've realized that it's easier to walk away it's even harder to stay you're gonna hit these roadblocks but as a creative as a professional as a youtuber as a musician as whatever it is that you want to be with all of your heart you got to be able to problem solve and the easier it is for you to problem solve the greater your life will my name is Dre Manning. This is Dollar in a Dream. Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment on the channel. And as always, nothing that I say matters if you don't get out there and apply it. Just get out there and shoot your shot. Peace! Hi, I'm Levy. And uh, I just wanted to tell you guys, make sure you like and subscribe to my man's channel. That was corny. That was really corny.